What's happening? What's good with you, Sauce Twins? Too short, too tall. We back like we never left. Hey, I got some apologies to make. <laughs> I got some apologies to make. It ain't really. Hey, I'm, it ain't. Hey, really. look, look, look. I'm going to just say it because I know how I felt about the situation. Yeah, I understand. Hey, Go ahead and say it. But I'm going to just say, get, I'm, I'm real. <laughs> I'm real. Because if I say something on the air and it come back. It's, it's there. Different way, I'm yeah. going to just face it. You can't run from it. I'm going to face it. I play man-to-man coverage. <laughs> you can't run from I'm it. I'm going to just face it, all right? It's there. It's out there. Daniel Jones, I'm sorry. Boy, that's it. That's it. There it is. There it is. Done. Uh, Done. 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 I apologize. That boy slanging that. That came back what? from down, down 18. 18. Came back to win it. What's the uh? What's the stat you told me? Let me tell you the stat. <laughs> what you told me yesterday. Daniel Jones is 1-0 when trailing by 18 points. Mm. Eli Manning is 0-48. Ooh, when we. down by 18 points Oh my god Ain't no comebacks oh, hey, yeah, yeah, You I'm out sorry. the game I'm gonna send you a roll I'm, Hey Flowers on the way <laughs> <laughs> I apologize We see now But But <laughs> We see now I'm still gonna say You probably shouldn't have went before Haskins Just because of what he did just And what you did Just off the strength Off the muscle The draft You should have just been picked up late And been a star <laughs> That's the truth about it. Just been picked up. Late. That's the truth about it. What happened with nah, the Giants? They, they pulled, you know, they did some stuff. They ain't gonna, you know. <laughs> hey, but, but they, they got the guy that they, they wanted. They got the guy they wanted. You know who they want in there. I'm happy for you, Daniel Jones. Hey, I'm always for the. I seen, I seen it though in preseason. I'm a, he was slinging he that was, thing he in preseason. Was slinging that thing. He looked good. He, he did look good. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sorry. hey, hey, it's hey, out hey. There. I'm, I'm gonna need you to do it again though. Yeah. I need to see it again. That's I put you on my fantasy. I put I, I I judge I'm trying to judge players by three years at quarterback. <laughs> that's it. If you can survive three years of good, you know, that's who you are. Dak Prescott, he's doing he <laughs> is who he is. <laughs> you know? Pay the man. Yeah, after Russell's first year, I was like, Pay man, the man. He look good. Two more, look, he is who he is. Sometimes people like Robert Griffin come in and Light the league on fire one year, and, and then they get lit up, yeah, and then so, it's over with. You know, I'm very, I'm very, 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 very disappointed by the way people are speaking about Cam Newton, though. Because to write Cam Newton off already, somebody who's been league MVP, who has led their team to a Super Bowl um, without a number one receiver, um, with a running back that had the most catches on the whole team. Like, come on. Like, give my guy something else to work with. But Everything. You, you know how the mob is. And, and they want to try to say my dude is selfish. But he put his body on the line every single week. They don't understand the boy. Well, that's when they I'm, don't understand something, then it's, then it's yeah. selfish and so, this and that. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a little disappointed how we can – Right, Cam Newton off, but ride behind Andrew Luck for so many years when Andrew would really throw 20 damn interceptions and we still riding behind the golden child. But you know how it is, though. The face of the league. They you want know, them faces of the league. Yeah, I understand that, but still, I ain't, I ain't with that. I, I so hear I'm you. I'm disappointed. And then I'm glad Clark... Got on uh <laughs> ooh, I can't think of his name right now. I don't know his name. But <sighs> y'all Finabon? know if you seen it if you seen it on ESPN, it you know Finabon? what we're talking I think about. It was Finnebon. I don't know. Ball head glasses. Finnebon, I think it was Finnebon. Finn No, it wasn't Finn. It wasn't Finn. But basically Y'all know trash who. cam. Trash cam. But praising Eli. But praise Eli. <laughs> no. If we gonna live in the now, if we gonna live in the now, then there's no way you still praising Eli Manning. Cause that's what it's about. That's that's how I see it. It's all about what have you done now. for me now? That's what they're looking at. Now, yeah, I don't understand Camden went. Oh, he he hasn't won a game in like the last seven games. He's been hurt. He's been injured. But I also watch how they allow teams to hit Cam Newton, which don't don't really. It's not consistent across the league. The shots to the head that Cam Newton take compared to, and I'm I'm not talking about running. I'm talking about in the pocket. Yeah. I'm talking about clubs to the head, late hits to the chest. 
They gonna let the selfish guy take them hits though. I see that. You see what I'm saying? But when when my boy Jarrell hit Tom Brady smack the AFC Championship dead in his chest, he get a personal foul because that's the poster child. What are we playing? You're not supposed to hit the child. What are we playing patty. You hear what I'm saying? We're playing patty cake. <laughs> Jamal of, Adams, keep hitting them. Jamal say he ain't changing. Keep hitting them hey. the way you're hitting uh, them, boy. boy play play your crazy. brand of football. That's what he said he's going to yeah. do. He said he's going to play his brand of football. All right? That's Bro, what I, seen, I seen, I forgot which game I was watching. I seen it was either linebacker D and tackled the quarterback for a sack. There's no other way he could have hit him. Shoulder. But because he fell on him. They it want was you, a penalty, bro. They want you on a to, third down. They want you, oh, and advance the ball. Yes. That's what they want, though. He, they want more points on but the But there was no other way for him. To, like, how are you going to hit somebody? They want you to hit the quarterback. <laughs> Everybody else, you can tackle them and you can lay on them like a tackle supposed Put to Put a be. red jersey on them. Yeah. But the quarterback, they want you to get the quarterback, lay him on the ground. Without falling on him. So you supposed to wrap and let go. <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all, Tom Brady scored a touchdown on a play in the AFC Championship Ooh, against man. the Chiefs because of that. That's, they that's went crazy. on to the Super Bowl because of a play where a Chiefs D lineman had Tom Brady wrap, wrapped up and didn't want to slam him down, so he let him go. Tom gets loose. Touchdown. That's crazy. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Boys can't just go out there and play. Can't just no go out there and play. Defense got to think. Think about too much. But you know what? That ain't even what we talking about today. Yeah, what we talking about? We we talking about some other So today, stuff. I was having this conversation with my wife. All right. <laughs> and I was like, there was a commercial that came on about um, pay equality. And it was talking about in sports. And um, so I just looked over to my wife and said, what you think about that? She said, yeah. <laughs> she said, yeah. She immediately went to her field. You know, my wife is a nurse practitioner. She immediately went to, well, I think female doctors and male doctors get the same pay. Nurse practitioner, you know, male, female, same pay. You know, I said, okay. I said, I absolutely 100% agree. I believe in the in." In your normal, I guess you can say, occupations, mm-hmm. I guess, not something outside of sports is what I mean, um, I believe that pay should be equal. But I think that it's really, really tough to talk about equal pay in something like WNBA versus NBA. <laughs> because, yeah. and I, we had a long conversation, she, you know, asking me why. And we start talking about the revenue that's brought in, and that's how the pay, the players are, you know, almost at the bottom of the totem pole. Right. They get between the, behind the league, the the, and the the owners, you know, an air of operations and all that stuff, and then you know you got your players. I don't know. Maybe the players aren't at the bottom. They might. They're like second they, or third, huh? Nah. Because they make it more than a, a head coach, and make it more than general managers. I'm saying, saying more than GMs? Yeah. I'm saying LeBron. I'm saying LeBron. Well, yeah, I'm saying, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm saying most yeah. of the players. <laughs> and most of the so players. So we talk like that, so yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, you know, just thinking about, okay, we're talking about TV contracts. Like, the amount of people tuning in to view it on TV. Um... We're talking about ticket sales. We're talking about from ticket sales like um, like equipment, like uh, jersey sales, you know, things like that. Mm-hmm. All of that stuff kind of plays a part. So it's really hard to say equal pay in something like that with WNBA, NBA. And I'm going to just use two different examples. I think that their pay could be more. Because I was looking at... The WNBA? Yeah, like the WNBA, 
But like you yeah. said, it doesn't bring. It's not bringing in. But I'm saying that we can raise the it. The revenue. I'm saying we can raise it up. Cause the the WNBA players make around seventy nine thousand a season, and the maximum salary caps at one hundred and seventeen thousand. So that's max contract. Max. So I'm saying you can you can live well at a hundred thousand dollars, you know. But all I'm saying is is I think we can do better. But it's gonna be hard to meet the average salary of like a NBA contract was like five hundred and eighty two thousand. Yeah, because they got they got it. I know, but I think the WNBA got a little bit more. A little bit more that they can give. When it boils down to it, when I look at it, is I look at it just like sales, right? If you had a, not everybody gets paid the same at many places, right? Okay, right. I was working at a call center. Everybody was getting paid the same hourly, but then you have your commission. So if one they person drive. is bringing yeah if one person is bringing in more money to that business they gonna get paid more because they bringing in more you can't say oh everybody's gonna get the same commission and then I'm selling fifty things and this person over here is only selling five yeah no we ain't do the same work. So when it comes to the sports, it's almost like, like you said, the revenue. If WNBA had more followers, the following was bigger. I, I, I agree. You know what I, I mean? Agree. I agree. But that's that's all it really boils down to. It's not a, oh, guys get paid I, more. With that. To, you, the guys are going to get paid more just because it's the guys. But when you go to tennis. I'm saying more people viewing Serena them, some of the women play. I'm thinking that. Yeah, I'm thinking that I hear you on that. Up when Serena out there. Yeah, it now, does. Is the pool the, is the pool the money the same? Women tennis and male tennis. I wanna I wanna say it might it, is. it might be. Let's let's. I see. wanna say that it is for both. That one, yes, tennis. I think it's the same for both, for winning. Yeah, so but it's just the like, men's and women's singles champion will receive $3.85 million, and the men's and women's doubles champion team will receive 740000 So then when we, but, but. So, but that for me is women's tennis. It's like a different game. It's like the, the sports are so different. And I think it's because, like, for instance, like in tennis, like, seri- like the game can be so similar between women and men. But like, ten- like with Serena and them, you know, they're just really polarizing athletes to mm-hmm. watch their whole journey and all that this whole time. But even in soccer, like soccer, I'm saying soccer to women's so- USA soccer. The women's team is the good team. It ain't the men. <laughs> yeah. Soccer, I'm saying that their viewership is probably more than the men's. I'm going to say yes. I'm for well, sure. Probably. I'm 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 saying it is. But the but the only thing is is and, but is that only USA? Is that why? Because it's only USA, w- women's right. soccer USA, but holistically in the whole league, it's probably more, more of a men, male. Right. Is is more of a male dominant and forgive us because we don't we don't know all the numbers in the male soccer. dominant sport. Yeah. But but when I see things like when, when we get to talking about equality, right? Yeah, we're talking about gender, but then you can also be like everybody on the team needs to get paid the same. We all doing the same thing. What are you talking about? Everybody on the team. On the, let's talk about an NBA team. No. Why we do, ain't uh, doing the same thing. Right, right, we, but we all doing the I'm same thing. We all out here. Back, we all the clock hey, buzzing. I'm yeah, the shot. But we all, but we all out here doing the same no, thing. No, we not. Yeah. Eric. So we need. So we need to get paid the same. I'm not. I'm, I'm just saying that's how. Right. The WNBA is playing basketball. 
So they saying the NBA is playing basketball. Nah, but I'm so about to get to, to get that. I'm about same. to get to that. In the NBA, they high rising. The game is faster. <laughs> we doing windmills between right. the legs, dunks, <laughs> things like that. That's what makes the game. And it's just like it attracts. It's, it's different. Think about this though. I mentioned this, and I didn't mention this to be condescending to women's sports. But I'm we we talk, Haley mentioned this. How about we drop the women's basketball goal down to nine feet? Huh. Now we get more dunks. Huh. I mean, more exci- like somebody that maybe would normally be able to dunk, maybe can do a three sixty dunk. Maybe we get more dunks. On girls, you know right? What I'm they need to they need to come up with a Something plan else. to make the game more <laughs> exciting. Because for me, when I mentioned it, you know, for, again, this was Haley's idea. Mm-hmm. I love the idea. But when I mentioned it to one of the girl, our girl athletes, she's like, "No, we don't need to lower the goal. Leave it at ten foot." They were thinking like, "We need to make it lower." But the girls already play with a smaller ball. Right. The girls already. Played that would with be the a good line. idea. WNBA. Drop the goal to rim down the nine, and let's see some girls get dunked on. You know what I'm saying? Let That's, me see some drop step two I'd want to see that. You know what I'm saying? I I'd want to see that. I'm just saying. I think that'll be one way to. Woo wee. That's a good. That's a good one now. That's a good one. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, they just got to find. They got to think out the box. They got to think out the box to make the game just a little bit more exciting. Just to attract their revenue. Yeah. That way they can pay the players more. That's the biggest thing. Because it got to go by the league, right? It can't go by the team. And I guess that's why I'm thinking about women's soccer. But for the U.S., it's just such a bigger thing for us with women's soccer than men's. But overall, it's still a male-dominant sport. When over it, the world when it comes to people really want to watch the, mm-hmm. the sport I, i'm guessing yeah 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 yeah. but i don't know but but women in basketball can make more money overseas, overseas. Mm-hmm. i saw it starts at maybe a hundred thousand or something I, I don't i could be wrong but it starts yeah they get higher they get over paid there. more overseas than they do here um but it's just because over but the same thing overseas it's big overseas that overseas basketball is big. Yeah. It's so bigger. they can yeah. They, them stadiums be packed. Yeah. Packed. So they, they can afford to pay yeah. the athletes the little bit that they getting. Yeah. But yeah, I mean I feel I feel like the WNBA should have a little bit more money. They to can give. pay a little bit more than seventy racks. Yeah, but it, it'll never it'll never be equal pay. Not in not in basketball. Mm mm. Not in basketball. Tennis, I, just, I think, is there. Yeah, I think, tennis I think is, I could be I wrong. Believe, yeah. I believe it's there. Tennis. Soccer, we know, is not there. Mm-mm. Um, I feel like uh, like the, like the when it comes to the individual sports, it's more so equal than when it comes to the Name another individual sport right now. I'm going blank. <laughs> Uh, uh, tennis, like golf. golf. Okay, yeah. golf. <laughs> I say I'm going blank. <laughs> what, it, uh, so I don't like know. Golf, what is it the same? I don't. Because the purses, I feel like the purses are pretty much the same. Now I don't know about like boxing. Oh, I know it's not. Yeah, I know it's not the same for the women and the guys. What about um, UFC, stuff like that? UFC, I'm pretty sure, is a male dominant. They say it's a big gap in earnings between men and women golfers. Is it? Yeah, the top 20 female golfers will earn $1 million or more. And um, Seem like that would be the same. They playing in the same tournaments, pretty much. It'll never be equal, y'all. Gender pay gap in golf. Yeah. Let's say it's a pretty big gap. You know, I don't know. It should be. You think it be, should be the same? When Tiger, who, 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 who's stepping out there on the women's side like Tiger and, and, and Nichols? Uh, it like used that. to be, uh, who? I forgot her name. See? I don't want to, I just don't want to throw nothing out there. I want to say Lydia? when. Lydia Co. Nah, that don't ring a bell over here. 
Oh, golly. A win. So, it says that her first major, she received a $390,000 check. It was 21% of the $1.8 million that Spieth won. <laughs> that's a big gap. So that's, that's, a, that's big gap. a gap. Dang. Okay. That's how they doing it in golf. That's a gap. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wrong. So, so in 1964, female winner um, for the U.S. Open, female, female. I missed in women and female. <laughs> we male. <laughs> hey. 2,000 compared to the 17,000 for male. 6,000 female, 30,000 male in 72. Let's get to the 2,000s. Start to get a little closer. 2,000 female winner, 500,000. Male winner, 800,000. Female winner in 2014, 720,000. Male winner, 1.62 million. Female winner, two. 2015, 810,000. Male winner, 1.8 million. So the difference in percentages went from 12% to 20 to 38.6. It's been getting bigger. 62.5. Like, I'm I'm getting closer. Closer closer to to percentage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then it kind of drops back down to 44.4%. Almost like in 2000, that was too close for him. Because female was 500,000, male was 800,000. And that was 62.5%. Then 720,000 to 1.62 was 44%. And then 2015, it was at 45%. But you see, the thing about it is, right? We was up here, you was able to say, you was able to say Tiger Nicholson. Yeah. We couldn't think of no female golfers. But that's because maybe we don't watch because we ain't in it like that. I'm sure. But people but but yeah, I I hear that. But but even the, yeah, but even even people that don't watch basketball, they know they know LeBron, they know Kobe. Yeah. They know him. So that's that's I feel like that's the biggest thing, man. The biggest thing is just that. One is the revenue. They got, we got to create more revenue. That's the biggest thing. To get more, you got to create more revenue. You got to create more revenue. If you don't, you're not going to get none. So then how do we create more revenue? Right? Now, you got to think outside the box. Make the game more exciting. Now, the NBA owns WNBA. So I would think. Have to, I would. Right? I, I would think that they are in yeah. association with each other. The NBA National Basketball Association, right. the WNBA, <laughs> got to be, got to be. Okay. But they trying to they trying to get them out there. It says the NBA is a parent organization. Does NBA pay for WNBA? Despite the disparity, the WNBA players are not being asked to be paid the same amount as NBA players. This is in 2018. Here's what is publicly known about the WNBA revenue. ESPN pays the WNBA $25 million per season for the right to broadcast some of its games. Average attendance in WNBA in 2018 was 6700 per game. See what I'm saying? 6700 for Compared a WNBA. Yeah. How many duckets we bringing in? But, but they are... I guess they are trying to bring more awareness to sport women's sports like the WNBA, like in the yeah. in the two K, in two K twenty. They actually have WNBA teams on the game now. Oh, what really? That's live. They have that's WNBA okay. teams like on yeah. the game now. Yeah, that's live. Just like a FIFA, they got women's teams on the FIFA now. So they're trying to bring more awareness, but I think I just think it's just gonna take more time. It's gonna take uh, more listen time. Listen to this. All right, let's listen. Listen to let's this. Let's listen. Despite this disparity, now this is coming from Forbes.com. I wanna make sure I'm make sure I'm citing. <laughs> the the WBA players are not being asked to be paid the same amount as an NBA player. 
What M- WNBA players keep emphasizing is that they want the WNBA to change the way the WNBA revenues are shared with its players. This is what I'm talking about. I said WNBA got some more money they can get their players. Now listen to this. They're probably using it in, in, in some some other way. No, they put it in their pocket. <laughs> that, that's the other <laughs> ways. Listen, use listen to this. Currently, the NBA pays about 50% of its revenue to its players. The WNBA, as I previously calculated and also as noted by the New York Times, the Philadelphia Inquirer, ESPN, the Minnesota Star Tribune, and the Washington Post, pays less than 25% of its revenue to its players. (laughs) (laughs) The players of the WNBA would like this revenue split to be changed. It's important to emphasize that the NBA's revenue split is determined by its collective bargaining agreement while it's while the WNBA's revenue split was only estimated. Furthermore, as emphasized before, this estimate clearly left out some of what compromises league revenue. This is because the league does not publicize all the details of the various deals. Look, basically what I just saw is is the WNBA need to have a sit out. <laughs> They need to come together with the collective when the collective bargaining agreement comes up, and the players' association need to stand up. That's what it's gonna take. They need to stand up. Twenty five percent, less than twenty five percent. If we can get that up to forty percent, people can make more money. We need it. We need it to come on up. Why ain't it fifty percent? Why ain't it fifty percent? What they say? Twenty five. Less than twenty five percent. So what they doing with the other? Why with the decades? Why ain't it 50%? Now, right now, with that, if you were head of the league, you need to figure out a plan where the, the players getting 50% of that revenue split up. That's how you base the salary caps. And then the other 50, 50% goes back into the league to operate. Right. You ain't got no league without them players. Come on now. You got to pay your players. Dang, but you know why? Because people going people gonna to take it. When you just take it and you don't do nothing, you got you got people that are willing to just, I, got, I need to play. Mm-hmm. I need to get paid. I need to play. That's what they do. If you want to keep 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 the, the players in the States, y'all letting them go that's, out of that's the That's one country? of my things. How is it? That's my thing. How it, is it going to be bigger overseas than, than here? here? We, want, we need to keep keep the women here. And all these ladies is going to the colleges right, right here. here. They come to college over here, but then leaving to go back to get the money. Keep them here in the states. We can do it. Keep we the money right. here. That's what. That's what I don't understand. So yeah, WNBA. We can do better. We can do better. WNBA. Y'all got it. We can do better. All right. Let's do better. <laughs> <laughs> South Twins. We out. <laughs> What will you sacrifice to be great? Hey, make sure y'all go and follow. Share. Hashtag Ask Sauce Twins. Turn your notifications ATA, on. ATA, AthletesTrainAthletes.com. They didn't hear you. Faster. They didn't hear athletes you. AthletesTrainAthletes.com. That's where you go to jump on and get faster on your own. A la carte training. There it is. Huh. <laughs> <laughs>